What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kelpie Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. We have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me, ladies and gentlemen. Playing another round of the Europe Advanced Capitals meta settings. Okay. First thing you want to take a look at is which blizzards are very, very choky. Which blizzards actually cut the map up? We have a bunch. We have a bunch. Okay. So we have four extremely significant blizzards. The bottom pocket chokes up to here all the way around. No way through the middle and then chokes up to Gascony. So I don't want to mess around with the bottom of this board. Good thing is I don't have any cap choices there. I do have a Bavaria cap, which I think I'm going to pick. Um, I also have this spot, Dinarides, which isn't as good because it's a single. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to neighbor cap black there. I think I'm going to have to neighbor cap black there. It's really my only option going in the fifth seat. Black chooses switzerland um blue chooses a terrible corner cap corner cap in saudi arabia just to remind you all we don't see red green chooses bulgaria just to remind you all uh the the main reason corner caps are shitty um is they don't really defend bonuses early and they don't allow you to take cards late this is going to piss off black but what it does do is it allows me and black to control the east-west axis of the board in the middle. The only way around the bottom of the map is this pathing. The only way around the top of the map is this pathing. There's actually no way to move east-west through the middle unless you move through one or both of mine and black's capitals. Okay, we don't see 95 roll, thankfully. We also see five of the six caps in the open. One, two, three, four, five. These are the Europe Advanced Capitals. Meta settings. We're playing Europe Advanced Progressive Capital. Auto setup expert bot. We don't start any and it is automated. Progressive cards, balance blitz dice with fog blizzards on, portals alliances are off. I'm in position five of six. Let's see how the cookie crawls. And I'm playing this white. The black player is General Del Oro, 17214 from USA and he caps in Switzerland. The blue player who capped in Saudi Arabia. Ugh. Ugh. We're not too, too, too worried about blue. Uh, General Huffington, 19218, also from USA. The red player in position three is General Cortez, four. Playing the flag of Canada in the fifth position, the green player, General Senior, 13979, also from USA. I'm in position five. This is my Anything Goes account. And, and I'm playing as white. And finally, the magenta player, who Captain Russia is the cow. Moo. Um... We do see their capital as well. All right, I don't know who's in the bottom of this map. If nobody's interrupting. Okay, red's down there too. Good. That means nobody's noob corner. Unless red was just getting an easy card. Yeah, black says, ooh, so is red here and blue's trying to be here, which means nobody's noob corner. If nobody's noob corner, then the old pavement will play as Nooblis Emperor, Nooblis Maximus. Uh, the first of his name. Red appears to be over attacking. Okay. Well, let's see if we can actually pump in pump in some troops into new corner. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fortify that two into the five. We're gonna go exploring. Okay, green would like Dinaridis. Maybe I take Dinaric Alps. So we're, we're gonna have a green black eat situation here and then maybe use my troops to move up into ah. that might make more sense green makes an attack up okay nobody's in noob corner i don't all right we start with a lot of troops so my bonus we hope is to narc alps I'm going to cut through Berlin to do so. Uh, 
I'm just gonna sit here in Austria, and I have a stack that could that could go either way. It could attack black. It could attack uh, green. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, we cool. Yeah. All right, thanks, yeah. homies. All right, we like that. A lot of green material up there. So I have a turn to play for the Germany bonus I'm in off of this line. But it is a split bonus, and, and Black is happy I didn't break them. Okay, let's see what Black does turn to. Um, ideally, Black takes France here. Don't think we see a 12v7. Or just starts working on an exterior position. Yeah, okay, so Black would like that. So Black now knows that I'm not in the split bonus. Blue has nothing. Nobody's in Spain. Actually, that's my line, right? I take a exterior position here. Because nobody's there yet. So I want France block. Okay, so Black is here and here. I'm here, but I only have one small bonus, and I will be beholden to my neighbors to not break it. Yeah, blue moving too slowly in the bottom right. Blue's now new corner. Heh, <laughs> okay. Maybe we use these extra tubes to, to take a new corner position. I don't think there's any caps up there. I think red is, my intuition tells me red is here, but maybe we'll find red's cap. Let's see if I'm right, let's see if I'm wrong. Let me show you guys the bonuses quickly on your bananas. You got Iceland worth plus two, British Empire worth plus three. The reason it's a noob corner is without any blizzards, you can def defend this two territory, or two bonus plus five on two points. Scandinavia plus three, Russian Empire plus seven, Eastern Europe plus eight. Orient is six, North Africa on the bottom is plus three, West Africa plus six, and then we have four point bonuses of Southwestern Europe, Western Europe, Denmark, Alps, Southeastern Europe, and Southern Europe. Finally, the bonus I spawned in, but is split and probably will never take, is Central Europe worth plus five, if you can hold it. We lose our occupation spain to red all right so i think i do fuck with blue and there's nothing they can do about it i'm going to take the noob corner here and i'm going to move my six into my seven as my fortify which stays friendly to black unless green takes it first the green guards stronger that only hits my six i'm going to pull that six right away Rather lose the plus four than lose the plus four and a six stack. Yes. Okay. Green is there now. That contests blue. That will slow blue down. Okay. Cool. This is good. I steal new corner from blue and there's no real retaliation coming. I am the emperor. Nublis Maximus, folks. We always knew it was true. No better than to try and hide it. Blue has Iceland. That changes my plan. Hmm. Now I put the five into the seven instead of the six into the seven. I'm not expecting to lose the six. I am expecting to lose that five. Didn't think blue had Iceland with a three there and not and didn't have Great Britain. Okay, we're going to see Magenta take um, Russia now. Magenta only has five on their capital. They should definitely reinforce that a bit better. Black says, please don't break my Scandi. Yeah. <laughs> Magenta's not guarding their Russia very well. So I think blue has this. So blue capped an opposite end of the map from where they're trying to take cards, which is very bad. Blue's probably, yeah, eight troops. Blue's probably going to uh, be first out this game. Maybe magenta if I can steal their capital, but I'm only getting nine a turn. I don't think we see 18 to 11. Yes. And black sits in Scotland. Uh, now breaks. Okay. So. 
Blue's fucked. Blue's in the fucking far corner of the map here. Black has a very good capital here. Oh. Red on off bonus. Yeah, red off bonus. Okay. Everyone's still here. Everyone's still connected. Okay, so black has this. Black has this. Black has this. Red is in Spain. Oh. Part of me wants to go for the really bold roll on, on uh, Magenta. Red is an over-attacker. If I take Spain, do I, if I take France, rather, do I hold it? Is he pulling troops off cap? How many troops do you think this guy has on his capital? Probably not enough. Yeah, green continuing to buff. All right, I need to pull that six stack off because green will break it eventually. And as I said, better to lose the, the plus four than a stack and the plus four. He's going to hit my single there, so I can't even have a line on the magenta cap. Fuck. All right. I have to take France here or else I'll be, I'll have no second bonus. I mean, I guess I don't have to. Black's starting to get large, though. Black's starting to get large and scary. If I take France, do I hold it? That's the big question. Dice are, are have not been ideal either. I wonder. Yeah, anything from Red? Does Red understand how to be a good neighbor? We depressurize the border with uh, green. If green was going to hit it, he'll hit it. Doesn't matter what the stack is at this point. Magenta now holds Russia. I'm trying to be good with black. Black's my number one homie so far. Because we've neighbor, we've neighbor capped. We really don't want to be in a situation where we hit each other. He's doing a better job of expanding to the top left, though. Than I am. He'll have one more territory to hit. Black and I can be natural enemies, though. Because he's going to run out of cards. He'll only, ha he'll only be able to hit me. I also might face a, a Schmackarino from Red. But for whatever reason, I feel like Red's cap is here. So now Red is hollowing out the middle of his position. And Magenta guards a bunch, I'm guessing is why it took them a while to fortify. Okay. Capital mode activates. Turn four begins. Black at 17. At some point, he's going to go bad neighbor to Pete, right? This turn, all he does is take Great Britain. Do a rank this guy is General Del Oro. Yeah, he doesn't break my friends. Yeah. He's not top 200. Not top 300. All right, I'm less concerned. Demoting a lot, though. Okay. Okay, Red takes the four trade here. Does Red take Africa? I think I'm... I'm in a shittier position than black. I think I bank troops here. My options for inoffensive cards are, are gone. And I'm basically in everybody's way. So the France bonus holds, but it, oh, he doesn't have France. He doesn't have Spain yet. Or did he roll the, to the bottom left? Yeah, he's now taking Spain. Okay. Okay, that changes my play. Him not being in Spain means I can really throw a lot of troops into Spain because I don't think Red can retaliate, especially considering they set early. Green stopped stacking in Dinaridis.
Yeah, and I stay cool with black. Red spent too much for Spain. And they're not going to be able to afford the break. They've already traded. Magenta sets. Okay, Magenta also trades early. What are they trying to do? They're going to break black across the top line. We're going to learn that that happened. Because black should be getting, okay, black's going to be getting one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17. Black gets less than 17. Yes, and the emoting. Okay, Magenta breaks in the top line. Good. This gives black a pro. No, he still gets 17 though. Maybe that's just territory count. Okay, Black Sets gets the eight and reciprocates, breaks Russia. Or did he, did Magenta give it to him in the midline? Six on capital, 35. It's fucking strong. Yes. Just a single attack? Black staying cool with me too, which I really like. So it'll allow me to sort of catch up. He's in the lead right now. He pulls his five off because he's really trusting of me. Blue player still off bonus. Or do they finally have Orient? Yeah, still. Blue player still off bonus. Blue player on the ropes. They're stuck in this corner now. Unable to really get a bonus. Who are they pushing into? Red lost their cap, right? We see two caps now. Was that last turn? Did Black take Magenta's cap off the set? I think that might have been what happened. Black just took the Magenta cap here. Magenta has no cards to reciprocate, so Magenta is going to be dead. Okay, Red still has their cap. Magenta doesn't, so Magenta lost their capital. Red probably quit soon. So now my question is, do I stay good with Black? Because Black just took a second capital. So they're going to spend a turn cleaning up Magenta. Which gives me a turn cleaning up red. Yeah. Red's looking quite weak, actually. Huh? Good job. I think red's just not a very good player, right? Red seems like they're playing cautiously like a newer player would. I'm going to stay cool with black. How much is that? Nothing. Yeah, three, three stack, I don't care. Green takes the 10 trade. Do they go for the magenta cap? Do they go for blue? Do they go for the red cap? We should actually hit, I think, in the bottom. I'm not setting, though. I'm going to save my trade. I'll show you guys how I play this. I'm going to take most of North Africa, but probably not finish. But I'm going to do it in a big stack that nobody sees but red. I'm going to run off this line. Okay, we lose blue. Green went all in to kill blue. Blue, that was expensive for green. I think it's the 12 trade for that. It's too early for a kill. He spent all of his troops to do that. Magenta's dead. Blue is dead. We're in a four-player game. Red is weak. So we're the 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 three middle positions are the ones that will last. Now the question is: Does my association with black lead me to a first or a second, or do I switch to green? I mean, can I kill red? <laughs> Don't think I do. Here's what I do. 
I'm gonna make it look like I'm trying to kill him. Like nobody sees this. Okay, we see a 15 cap is opened. I want my opponents to roll that cap. I want them to think I'm pummeling red. But what I'm actually doing, if I hit that sneaky Sahara kill guard. So, if green goes hua pa, thinking they get the red kill, hopefully I get fed it without having hit the capital. And I'm holding my set. At the biggest trade, I get the 15. Hmm. It wouldn't shock me if Red goes whole hog, uh, try fuck me up off the cap line. Magenta's also on the ropes. Black's still busy going to kill Magenta, we hope. Gives me a one more turn reprieve before we find ourselves in a three-player situation. Red's going to die. Magenta's going to die. We might see Magenta die here, but I bet you Black waits for one more card. Black is hitting a ton of magenta. Magenta might die. Hmm. Does he miss the nine? Okay. What I want to see happen is I want to see I want to see green go there and pop that. Okay, red's gonna fuck me up off the cap line. Good enough. Don't blame you. Yep. I do not blame you, sir. Dude, you're gonna have no troops on your capital. <laughs> He's gonna have ten? Nine on his capital? Ten troops on his capital. I'm like that. Alright. Do we see green set? Do we see green take it? Cap, cap count would go to three. Yes, we do see green set. It is the 15. Pump it into red. And you used to put troops on Dinaridis. Okay, no, that's going into me. That's moving now. That 18 moves. No, are we missing the red kill? Or are we taking the red kill? Magenta kill is also very free. All right, well, I got the 20 trade. Will it be enough to kill red? Is the question. <sighs> to kill red. Pulls 18 back to capital. Hmm. I think we try. Oh god, there's no troops on that capital. Good. Green failed the cap roll, I think. Good. Black kill guarded magenta behind him. Okay. I have a second capital. We, we missed the magenta kill. Black is a smurf account because they're definitely not in the top 500, but they're very, very good. Okay, Magenta takes the third card, giving a free third card to black. And then maybe green has it behind them, but I doubt it. There might be a small possibility there's a magenta stack somewhere here, but or here, I think no. I think um it's there. And black takes it. Yeah. Magenta dies. Cool. Okay, top three. Now what happens? Everyone has two capitals. 
my caps are very significant as far as controlling the east-west axis of the board. Black goes bad neighbor to me, or stays good. Staying good is great. Staying good means I have a very, very solid ally. So green's going to pop my plus eight to get a card. Right? Yeah. Now green's gonna hit me and finally reveal themselves to black. I'll lose the plus eight. Do they hit Russia? Okay, them not breaking Russia means they would like eat to lose the game. All right, so hard trading. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting the same as black. There's really no reason for me to hit them. Un until they start hitting me, of course. Okay. I'm going to hit just one. I break a lot. Trying to find blue. He's trying to find green. Uh huh. He wants to trade in France. Sure. Don't care about that. But green's going to break a different bonus of mine. Green is confused. Okay. Breaks a bunch of peat. Okay. Anything on that cap? Yeah, nothing on that cap. Rah. Groups on your cap. We hit green hard for fucking with me. Green probably is a card trade. Yeah, black trades there. Black goes for a look see. Oh, black can try kill green. Love that. Cap's still big though. Does get the green kill. He does get the green kill. Okay. We are now in a 1v1, folks. Amazing. Okay. Go so we go first and second with uh with black. This game, the pace of this game going real nice. We're now in a 1v1. He gets the 45. Fox up my shit. Good. Thanks. Well played to you as well, sir. Okay, so he splits a little bit. Let's see what caps I can get. No, I don't need caps. I need board. Maybe I get caps if I'm lucky.
cap is 44. That cap is 73. All right. Who's next to set? He is. Nah, he still has me, I think. I have the whole board. I can hit all of my caps, though. We do have a 7 3. Okay. Not over. Not over. And he doesn't trade. Hmm. Am I faster than him? Maybe that's why. Oops, I got the speed. Let's see. Guaranteed set on five, so we don't worry about card blocking. Our focus here is going to be to take as much board as we can. But I'm still going to have a ton of board by the time he's done because he's kind of slow. Uh huh. Takes Iceland. Blitz. Yes. I don't have way too much board. Yeah. Okay. And 60. 59. 58. Yeah, that's why he's not, uh... It's good. This guy's gameplay, this guy's strategic gameplay and diplomatic skill is excellent. His technical skill is weak. Too bad. Excellent, excellent player. GG, man. GG, General Del, Del Oro. Seals my cap in the middle. I do have a set on three, and that was expensive. Yes. Off cap? Stays off? No. Okay, and... That was very, very bad for you, sir. Okay, so we go. It's a ladder. And no bonuses for you. So he is going to trade. He maybe gets one of the center caps back, but I have the other five. I think this is a winning position. 55 trade. Maybe he gets both. Ooh, don't waste on that. That cap sucks compared to the middle caps. 14 on a 10. All right. All right. All right. All right. You don't get either of the middle caps that way. Okay, good. I'm going to hold way too much board. I'm getting like 30 a turn. <laughs> Good game. Yeah, I think you I think he knows he he lost. Well played to you too. Well played to you too. Excellent player, sir. Oh, he stepped off. He just admitted defeat. We're not playing this out. That is just an honorable, honorable defeat. Nothing bad to say about you. Good game. Okay. Got it done in 33 minutes. That feels fucking great. I liked that game a lot. I liked how I um, identified my, my good homie and went first and second with them. What else can we say about this video, guys? What is this? Uh, what are the lessons from this game? Um, yeah, this game is the the key lesson from this game is really about how to identify who's good and who you want to work with. Um, Green was okay, right? Green was the second best player in the game rank wise, but they did overcommit on the kill on Blue. Blue was the worst player in this game, I would say. I mean, I don't know, maybe Magenta's a novice, uh, but Blue's cap choice was was the worst. By far, right? They found themselves locked very quickly. I'm defeating one novice to beginners, one intermediate, and an expert GG General Del Oro 172.14. We, we cross back to GM, I think. There we are. GM again on the do not give a fuck account, folks. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in getting better at the game for us, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me, folks. I have a daily release on Free Pete, a daily release on the Kill Pete strategy. Click the notifications to get notified for when my next videos go live. Give, go live. Give me a like if you like it. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games, good luck.